welcome to my Friday. It's 10 to 1 in the afternoon. I've been desk based all morning. I am waiting for my video to export and it's going to be another 26 minutes. So I've decided I'm going to just do 26 minutes of flute down in the cellar while that is exporting and then I can get on and finish that off because I just want to use the time productively. I'm fidgety. I don't want to just wait for it. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I do like lighting the candle when I'm practicing. It's just a thing. A little ritual of mine. It's like now practice time is in session. I tell you what I really need to do down here though, tidy it up. Oh, the state of it. And you know, I really fancy. I'm not even really into Christmas that much. The thing is, I quite like to have the lighting dim in here, but with lamps on or a candle or maybe a fancy one of those glowy lamp things with patterns. So I quite like the idea of fairy lights and just making it really, really cozy. I don't know why I like to practice with the lights so low. I think it's because I can see the music more in my mind's eye. I've got less visual distraction. It's a thing. I quite often play with my eyes closed on stage and even in here as well. So maybe that's why. Any other musicians out there got a preference about lighting when they're practicing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's definitely on my list to, to have a good tidy up down here, but it's just getting shifted every day to another day unspecified in the future. Right, I'm going to do a quick bit of practicing on repertoire for the upcoming pub gig. <laughs> things slowly without a metronome at the moment. I'm in different moods on different days for the way I do things but I'm focusing in on details at the moment. Practicing it slowly can help you to play it faster. If you work on your accuracy at a slower speed it's then easier to play it more accurately faster later once you've worked in this foundational sort of way. <laughs> It's about 20 past two now. I practiced for an hour actually, because I was into it, I was enjoying it, and I thought, why not? So I carried on, and then I got a bit sidetracked finding another track to learn in the band, and I was just playing along with that through my speaker for a little while to see if it was doable, and I think it is. So I've been emailing that to Dan to see if he fancies giving it a go, and if the key is suitable for him to sing in. I'm eating a banana because I'm actually really hungry and want my lunch, but I want to get the vlog up. So I'm gonna go and do that and then come down and cook some lunch. I've just done something really, really annoying. I've done all the upload stuff. It's uploaded, I've done everything, description, tag, title, thumbnail, the lot. Actually, I haven't quite done everything, but almost everything. And I always check it to see if it's playing properly because once I didn't, and it was awful. So um, yeah, it's got no sound. And I don't know why, it's because I muted the audio track because when I'm scrubbing through to get thumbnail images I just mute the audio because I can concentrate more on it better, it's less distracting. I forgot to unmute it and I didn't even know that if you had muted your audio track the video would come out with no audio, but it has! So I need to re-upload it and go through all that again. I might have to do that after lunch. Oh, that's going to be the best part of an hour doing that now. Well, I'm going to get my lunch. I think the time might have come to actually eat this because I am so out of food and so need to go shopping later. Two minutes apparently. I'm going to stir it and leave it to stand for another minute. And as usual, I'm going to play Race the Microwave and put some crockery away. Oh, that's still wet. Give it its bottom a wipe then. Right, dishwasher's emptied. Ugh, I really need to sort that drawer out. I put it in a bowl. I actually gave it three minutes because my microwave's quite low wattage. Right, let's give it a taste then. It's not the sort of thing I normally buy to be honest, but I was curious. bland. Oh mind you, I had Covid didn't I and one of the tastes that I lost was anything curry related so don't take my word for it on the bland thing as it might not be. Mm. 
well i shall tolerate it it could just be that my taste is still off from the covid i can't taste any curry at all but then like a few weeks ago i was eating bombay mix and all i could taste was the gram flour and the oil that it was made of but i couldn't taste any of the flavoring so maybe this wasn't the best choice for my lunch today but anyway it's edible and it will fill a gap i'm having a post lunch slump of energy i wonder if it was because it was such a carbohydrate meal and i don't normally have really carby ones at lunchtime anyway i tried to have a sleep while my video was you know exporting i couldn't sleep but i did have a lie down for half an hour but anyway i've got it up now i need to practice singing thriller again in the cellar uh, which I might or might not film, probably not. And then I definitely need to go shopping and I'm going to go to Iceland today. I'm making some coffee because I'm literally struggling to stay awake. I don't know if this is a post-Covid thing or just random tiredness because who knows, could be either. Speaking of post-Covid, my voice isn't quite back yet to where it was before Covid, but it's okay, it'll do, it's acceptable. It's not like I do anything highbrow or anything. Um, you know, just only tend to sing at pub gigs anyway and nobody's that discerning. It's more about the delivery than the tone quality, to be honest. But um, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Basically, my throat feels like it's kind of swollen up inside if you know what I mean like the passageway is narrower and I especially know this not only does it feel like it but also when I'm swallowing big tablets like like you know those big horse pill things they literally wedge in my throat and I have to wash it down with something because they stick and normally they wouldn't so it's definitely still like doing something in there I still feel a bit glandy from it but anyway it'll be what it'll be I'm not moaning I'm I feel very grateful to have got off so lightly frankly <laughs> had a really really long stint i have had about whew, 40 minutes stint so i went over thriller again a million times not looking at the words the words are here but i wasn't looking at them i was doing it singing along with the recording listening intently to michael jackson's voice and just trying to do it that way i'm still forgetting them a bit though honestly i feel like i'm impaired in some way when it comes to memorizing lyrics i'm so bad at it i'm better at it when i don't know what they mean when they're in another language then it's just a matter of copying the sounds and somehow i seem to find that easier in a way but then that said i haven't tried it in the last few years so maybe i'm not good at that anymore i don't know maybe i've changed <laughs> No. Anyway, so yeah, I did that for quite a while and then I was trying to play my flute along with the end part of Thriller because there's a like a weirdy sort of ghosty noise bit that sort of goes Ooh. I don't know, I don't even know what notes they are and it's so low in the mix I can't quite work it out but I think I could if I had the patience to listen carefully enough and I haven't had the patience to listen carefully enough yet but I might try and work it out and play it, I haven't decided yet um, and then I was practicing the whistle because I'm having trouble with one of the notes splitting in the X Files, and it, it's it's the whistle. I think I just need to learn how to accommodate that <laughs> by blowing that one note much harder than any of the other notes, just to make it sound consistent in tone with the others. If you know what I mean. Anyway, I really need to go to Iceland. I should do that now. Well, you can see which section I've come to first. I want to get some more um, cheese and onion bakes. Well, except I don't see any. Oh. They've got two, that's why. Mm, cheese and onion bakes. A pound, look at that. What's two pound? Let's get two. We're planning a picnic tomorrow, you see, so I figured I'd do that instead of sandwiches. Something green to go with our tuna and chips tonight. I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna do the active fry cubed potatoes or chip potatoes or something with real potatoes with broccoli. Ah, is he like these? Two quid mines, but something she likes. But I can eat as well because it's not meat. Three for ten pounds or four pound each, so of course I'm going to get three. I'm just going to get the tuna because that's what Izzy likes. Well, mind you, she quite likes the salmon. Right, two tuna, one salmon. home for a week now because it's half term one pound fifty was three pounds oh do you know i'm tempted to get two 
they're off price. Pizza, you can see how my shopping habits change when I've got Izzy here. I have a feeling we don't have any, you know, oven chips, so I'll get some of those. Pound, I think. These are definitely a pound, I'll just get the smiles. I'm looking at the pound ready meal section. Tempted to just get some to have in. Uh, yeah, go on. For Izzy, of course, because it's meaty. And she does like the lasagna as well. They're opened. I think, hmm. Mm, that one's okay. Well, I'll get myself a veggie lasagna as well. Has to be done really, doesn't it? But you see, two for three pounds or two pound each, so one feels compelled to get two. Wow, I haven't seen those before. Do you try those? Oh, yay, something new. Should probably read the ingredients. Yes, one last thing. Sliced mushrooms, frozen. I'm back. It's dragging the trolley through the house time and put the lights on time as well. Oh, I'm getting in a right mess here. I need to move those steps. I keep bashing into them. I don't know why they're there. Ugh. And I don't think I could cram a single pea more into that freezer. It is absolutely stuffed. Izzy says she doesn't want feeding till about eight o'clock. So that's gonna give me about an hour of editing time before I have to start getting dinner on. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go do that in a minute. My phone's going crazy. Speaking of going crazy, as you can see, Wales COVID infection rate is now the fourth highest in the world. And Wales's COVID infection rate is the highest since the pandemic began. So that's where we're at with that. So how much longer I'm gonna get away with doing gigs for, I do not know but hopefully the ones in October. I mean, we're quite a long way into October already. It quietens down for me in November anyway. I've only got one in the whole of November as it is, and then only like one in the whole of December as well. No, two in December. Uh, uh, anyway, it'll be what it'll be, won't it? I'm just gonna keep working down on my salad. And yes, hospitalizations are increasing as well, exponentially now, so. But as far as I'm aware, the government is still not making any changes but honestly I think things could change day by day. At the time I'm recording this they're not budging but who knows by the time this vlog goes up tomorrow night things could have changed because things do change that quickly don't they? Ah, right I'm gonna go and edit for a bit. I'll see you when it's time to get dinner on. Half past seven I'm listening to news over there and preparing dinner so I put I don't know maybe a couple of tablespoons of oil and a bit of salt on these potatoes and I can't remember how long they're going for but I think it's about half an hour. Do, 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 do. It's a very long way to do this. Maybe if I hold it, it'll shoot up. Oh yeah, there we are. They'll start moving now. Where well, off they go. <laughs> See, I don't have to do anything with that. It just, you know, it does it itself. I'm gonna prepare some broccoli now and I will fry these in a pan. It's about five to eight now. We've got, oh, four minutes left on these. They're going a lovely golden, sort of yellow colour with brown crispy looking edges starting to look rather nice and they do smell delicious. I'm pan frying the tuna and just boiling the broccoli. Nothing you haven't seen before there. Izzy and I are still working our way through the Voyager box set on Netflix so once that's plated up we will be watching an episode of that tonight and she will be analysing the script all the way through but it's good really because it's good to have a conversation. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, could you please give it a like? It really helps channels to grow. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my stories, you feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it for notifications every time I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.